Okay, well the UPS guy just got here. We got some boxes here from your leg. Got all kinds of goodies. Got a new uh, graphics card from a store that I won't name because I hate dealing with them, but it was hard to pass up since I had a gift card to go there. So we're going to go ahead we're going to start unboxing this stuff and take a look at what we got and start throwing it all together into our cheap uh, quad core system. motherboard which is the Asus M4 Alpha 785M motherboard uh, socket AM3 also backward compatible with uh, AM2 Got our memory. Okay. This is our uh, WinTech dual channel memory kit. Um, it's four gigs of uh, DDR2 800. Two two gigs uh, per stick. And you see they've got a nice uh, black heat spreader on there. So. This is our uh, AMD Athlon 2 uh, X4 620 uh, quad core processor. Uh, it's four four uh, cores instead of two. Um, that's the main reason why we got we're doing this setup is that we were encoding video with just two cores and it wasn't butter in the biscuit so to speak. So we're going to bump up to a four core system and see if we get better performance. Also, we've got a 400 watt Corsair uh, power supply here. This is pretty darn heavy. Say who the manufacturers. Okay, this is the Samsung SATA DVD drive. Um, I can't even remember what the specs are on it when I ordered it. I just know that it's a uh, pretty good. We've got our Rose Will. Firewire card. This is for uh, video purposes to connect our video camera to the computer. Yeah. 
Just something I thought you would have thrown him in for good measure. It's been a case for that. But this is a big honking video card. I mean, I've never had the kind of money to be buying the super nice ones, but this is uh, the 4850. This is just a cheap Roswell case that I picked up for, I want to say, $19.99 for free shipping, which is, uh, that's a hard deal to pass up, but Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. Um, you can see that we're operating at 2.9 gigahertz. Um, our overclock is up from 2.6 2.9, and our temperatures are staying pretty reasonable at 40 Celsius with the overclock on stock cooling. Um, and everything seems to be running okay. We're going to overclock it further in the not too distant future. We're just messing around with it right now. But overall, it's turned out pretty good, and we'll keep you updated.